Hello, and welcome to The Changing Paradigm. I'm Dr. Patricia Hill, and today my guest is Dr. David Berselli, who is a traumatologist. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Patricia. It's great to be here. Well, it's wonderful to have you on the show, and we've just been finding all our similarities and background and studies. Uh, David is here in Aspen to do a workshop and, in fact, a, a training uh, certification program. Right in a, a process that he calls trauma release? The trauma release process, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe you could tell us a bit more about what yeah. that means. Well, what it means is, is that when we have stress or tension or anxieties or traumatic experiences in our life, our body holds that process as a way of enduring and getting through these stressful or traumatic events. But then later on, if we don't learn how to release that from the body, we end up living in a contracted manner inside our bodies which creates chronic aches and pains and tension and there are ways to immediately and effectively get that out so that the body can go back to a, a, a normal stable environment within itself after the stress for a traumatic event. That's an interesting concept that the body stores tr uh, stress or trauma. Right. We kind of know that through massage therapy and other modalities like that where people say, oh, I had a very stressful week and I'm very tired and I can feel the aches and pains in my shoulders. Well, the aches and pains in the shoulders are directly related to the stress pattern that all of us have in our bodies and that we build it up and build it up and if it doesn't come out, it becomes chronic and then can create secondary potential damages or problems with, the, with our health. So we're really talking about the mind-body connection. Oh, very much. In science, we've actually separated the mind and the body for very specific reasons. We need to st study neurology. We need to study the brain. But in reality, the organism itself, meaning the human organism, has no idea that we have separated mind from body. Or, it works, or from spirit. Exactly. It works as an integrated whole, and it doesn't mm. care what we say about it. It still works in an integrated manner. So stress, anxiety, tension, trauma, all of those things are neurophysiological. There's no possible way to separate the neurological experience from the physiological experience. And so this work that I do tries to bring those two back together. I actually think that somehow by denying that those things are connected, we, we create more stress yeah. for ourselves and, and we don't know what to do with it. Well, that's where we get people today. They say, I'm so stressed out, I don't know what, how, what to do, I don't know how to get out of it, I have such tremendous anxiety, I can't sleep because my mind races, that's part of the neural process, and I can't sleep because I feel achy or pains or I've got stomach cramps, and that's the physiological part of it. So the neurophysiology always activates collectively together when we have stress or anxiety or trauma in our lives. So this is really a sort of body-based psychotherapy. Well, what I did was I began to look at how do I help approach and change the neurological patterns of stress and anxiety and trauma? How do I do that from working from a physiological perspective? And a good example is if we take soldiers who come back from Afghanistan or Iraq and they have a lot of stress and anxiety, tension, some of them have been traumatized, but they don't always need to go through counseling. So mm -hmm. how do we actually get them to get through a process where they can and actually calm themselves down using a self-help method that's immediately effective and they can recover and restore themselves back to a calm state and they can use their body to actually change their mind as well. I think actually uh, you know in a lot of cases that uh, people are in denial about if they've had an extreme trauma they can't even remember it so it's hard for them to talk about it or, or it's very traumatic for them to talk about right. it. And it kind of re-experiences or reactivates the trauma. Right, exactly. And a lot of times that's true because when you're talking about the neurology of a traumatic event, to keep talking about it can continue to reactivate it, but the body has no way to actually discharge or calm down from that activation. So what I do is I actually start working with the body first, and then in that process, if the story surfaces, it actually surfaces with less anxiety. Mm -hmm. So the person can talk about it, integrate the story, and not repeat the trauma. So they're not overwhelmed. They're not exactly overwhelmed. right. You have to mm -hmm. calm down the organism or the structure of the body. Once you calm it down and it's in a less excitable state, then the story is more accessible without being overwhelming.